fealty not to the Constitution, but fealty to the maximum leader. Uh, we are in a new place, but it is a deadly serious place. And all of these appointments fit together in terms of undoing this legacy. I'd say I've had just about enough of the so-called insiders running the Defense Department. I think you ought to give Pete Hicks a chance. Democrats and their media mouthpieces are currently losing their minds because they cannot fathom why Donald Trump would nominate Pete Hegseth to the defense secretary position. In case you didn't know by now, Pete Hegseth was a Fox News pundit. And that is, of course, what the media and Democrats are focusing on. This is all fiction. It's all ideology. And it's all quite frightening. And, um, you know, I, and, I, and, and I don't think anybody can defend this choice. Hold on. Yeah. Watch us. And if he really likes him so much, yes, he has served, and maybe he could be the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, maybe he could do something else. The Secretary of Defense is somebody who oversees the men and women serving around the world. Which he failed. He also picked, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend. Not even like <laughs> regular. Pete Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! The former and future president is moving quickly to fill the clown car and round out his cabinet before he changes his mind and fires them all. <laughs> he has selected Fox Weekend Morning Show host, you can't make this up, Pete, Pete Hegseth, to serve as Secretary of Defense, because why not? He also said, first of all, you've got to fire the chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, with, which happens to be General Charles Brown Jr., a black man. And so I think we're seeing misogyny play out. I think we're seeing racism play out. Oh. Great. This idea that you're now going to review the generals uh, with, with some indication there's a political loyalty test, I think is not just a mistake for the incoming Trump administration. This risks uh, uh, very significantly uh, wrecking our success in keeping the military non-political. Oh, that was different. Is yeah. this the guy who's qualified to make decisions about the most powerful military in the world who clearly does not know anything about the military? You know what, good, good God. God. Does anyone have confidence in the current leadership of the Pentagon and the way the defense situation has been operating for the last several years? I mean, from the Afghanistan pullout, which was an extreme debacle for which no one was held accountable, We've had spy balloons flying over the United States. We built a $300 million pier as a public relations stunt, which wound up killing an American service member. I'd say I've had just about enough of the so-called insiders running the Defense Sorry. Department. I think we ought to give Pete Hicks at the chance. First of all, these chumps saying that a US Army 101st Airborne Major is unqualified is the epitome of absurdity. Not only that, but he's a Princeton grad, a Harvard postgrad with masters, a US Army 101st Airborne Major with two combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan with Bronze Stars, Commendation Medal, and Combat Infantry Badge. Who clearly does not know anything about about the military. You know, I mean, honestly, would you rather have Pete Hegseth or this guy? Or this guy? Or this guy? Or this guy? First one, the first one you said. All right, folks, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe because I do post on a regular basis and you should keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one. Ah!